Sometimes in your application, you might be dealing with list of objects. For instance, list of products in the store, list of color users selected, probably list of items sold in a day. In that kind of situation, you use an array to hold your data. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Code with Demi. And in this tutorial, I will be teaching you JavaScript arrays and array methods. Let's get started. So, what is an array? An array is a data structure that can hold more than one value at a time. And it is list like objects with indexed elements. Now, how can you create an array in JavaScript? There are three basic ways by which you can create an array, which are using array literals, using array constructor, or an empty array. So basically, I can declare a variable called selected column. First, so let me use an empty array. Now, in JavaScript, the square brackets actually signify an array literal. And for me, you can actually add elements to your array. Now, let me add three elements. Let me add red, blue, then green. So this, this is an array of three objects, which are red or three elements. And you must note that when dealing with arrays, arrays as index. So each element in my array has an index. And in JavaScript, index starts from zero. For instance, I can I can console to see my array selected colors. Node index.js command. So as you can see, I have red, blue, and green. We want to check out the first element in my array. I use an index of zero. And if I want to check out the second element, I use one, then third element, I use two. If I run my code again in my terminal, so I will see just red. So, and I was able to access that using the index number. Another way by which you can declare an array in JavaScript is using an array constructor. Now, for instance, I can Declare a variable called colors an array. So in order for you to declare an array using a constructor, so there's a for you to use new keyword. So from here I console colors. It is another method by which I can declare my array in JavaScript. Now, if I want to check out the length of my selected color, so I can just console selected colors dot length. And also, you must actually note that while dealing with length, length doesn't start from zero. So length actually starts from one, unlike index. So index in JavaScript starts from zero. But length doesn't start from zero. There are several methods by which you can modify your array in JavaScript. So we have push method, we have pop method, we have split method, we have slice method, and so on. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can push elements that means add more elements to your array, and also how you can remove the last elements in your array using pop method. If I want to add more elements to my array using push method, I can say selected color dot push. This can take different data types like string, number, and so on. Basically, in JavaScript, you can actually have an array with different data types. So, for instance, you can have an array that has a combination of strings and number, and so on. I can add more colors to the already existing colors. Now, 
if i check my console again to see the selected column now i should have five elements in my array as you can see we have red blue green brown and white how can you remove the last item using pop method now the same approach we used for push selected colors dot pop then console dot log your selected color if i go to my terminal and run node index.js the last item has been removed from the array we have several methods that can be used to manipulate your data in javascript we have for each we have map we have filter we have reduce and so on for each method execute a function for each array in the element for me to use for each method for selected colors array let me use selected colors dot for each so this we take one or or more arguments and then it will have a callback function so from here let me just console the index plus let me concatenate it in, it. in order for it to concatenate in javascript just use plus icon plus item for each let me use for each okay i go to my terminal and run the code again i have zero for each red so these are my index zero one two and then these are my items red blue and green so map method in javascript is basically used to create a new array with the result of calling a function for every element in the already existing array so for me to use a map method let me declare a variable okay let me use let let count equals to selected colors dot map so this can also take one or two arguments and return i use return keyword to return your desired results Now, if I check my, if I console this count now, console.log count. So I should see the length for each element. I have three, four, five. That means for each element here, for red, so I have a length of three. For blue, I have a length of four. And for green, the length is five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's actually loop through each elements in the already existing array and created an array from that array okay let's check out the filter method as well so basically filter method is used to create new array with an element that passes a test so now if i want to use filter method so i will have to declare a variable let me use let filtered array equals to selected colors so this can also take two two arguments and from here let me just return return item dot length greater greater than five so do i have any item that is greater than five here no so i'm expecting an empty array so if i if i console.log filtered array i should see an empty array so as you can see this is an empty array because none of these actually passes the test greater than five now if i use less than five I should have red and blue because green is not less than five these are the two items that 
passes the test. Arrays are fundamental in JavaScript for only multiple values. And also, array methods provide powerful ways to manipulate arrays. And in this tutorial, we are going to cover three major methods that can be used to manipulate arrays in JavaScript. We are able to cover for each method, we are able to cover filter method, and also we are able to cover map method.